Hey y'all, what's up? I was about to like get ready and then record, but whatever. I am actually about to give y'all a little haul with me. I, I figured that I can do my makeup and talk at the same time so that I don't waste time. So I'm going to do a little haul with me. This is the first time y'all have seen me in a minute. When I say a minute, I mean 10 years. No, I'm just kidding. No, seriously, like six years. Um, especially with the new year coming around. I can market it six years. I'm currently 23, about to be 24. I work at the post office. As you may have known me, if you are still subscribed, thank you for being a loyal consumer. My name is Mickey. I go by Mike Adike. Zelda. Yeah, don't do that. It's my cat. So anyway, um, I'm trying to get out a video because my life is just so hectic. I'm a postal employee full time and I like to give into fashion. And recently, since I've been sturdy at the bins, I have gained some interest in reselling. And so you're about to see the effects of that today. I look a mess. How can I like fix this real quick? Maybe some eyebrows. Let's do the eyebrow. I'm really, I really want to show y'all the pieces. So just, I want to, you know, you guys like the makeup. So I'm going to give you the makeup. <laughs> um, can y'all believe that I got rid of my acne? Oh my God. I have to work at six. It's currently one right now. So I'm just trying to preserve my time. I plan to put out videos. I'm going to say like once a week. I think that'll be effective. I want to do what sold videos, aka what sold in my closet per week or per month. I'll probably do a first month because I've been selling for about a month. I surpassed my goal of 200 by $800. So yes, I've sold nine to a thousand dollars. Um, some were direct sales and then I actually sold a pair of I sold a bunch of stuff that no one paid yet. Like I sold a diesel jacket and I sold a Fendi literally just right out when I got out of the car. You said my jacket on. I just got out of the car and I got the notification someone bought my Fendi neoprene sock heels. Yes. I think they're somewhere up there. I don't know. I have to find them. So child, forget the damn makeup. I'm over it. Let me just pop on a highlighter and get to work. I want to show y'all what I got. So when I say this is the best bins that I have gone to, I hate, I don't really like saying this. I don't think good about outlet. But anyway, I went to the bins and I've been there for the past three days in a row. And when I say these are the best three days I've ever experienced today, yesterday, and I think the day before you are going to be mind blown. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the thumbnail but child this is some good stuff like, why would people throw this away i'm grateful for it don't get me wrong but i'm also mad because how much have i missed you could have just i don't know i guess donated i'm happy <laughs> so let's get into it child anyway oh i like to do a blush bitch i'm a blush person uh, I just go in with a red eyeshadow and then I'm boop. That's ghetto. That, that is ghetto. Oh, child, we do not do that. What is that? Now I look like I have rosacea. Why does I gotta do it to the other side? Do a little bit on the eyeball. Um, oh my gosh, now it looks like I eyeshadow on. A mess. Just a mess. Oh my goodness. What have I like, done? Okay, it's kind of cute. It's kind of coming through now. Kind of, kind of. Low-key, low-key. Let me fix it real quick. I'm sorry. I'm taking so much time out of your time. <sighs> okay. Um, You know what? I think that's cute. I'm not, I'm not even fibbing, like, what else? Cute. Uh -huh. I like you. Whatever. Let me fix my lighting. Look at my little light. <laughs> it's a LED from, I think, Bed Bath. LED, and then I found this little lampshade, and I put it on it. 
Isn't that just so cute? Can you imagine if I left it here and it dangled? Huh, how many minutes are we in? Five? Oh my god. No, seriously, like, would it be cute if I dangle it? I need some light. Oh my gosh, I think it's cute. So when you know the dangles, it's, you know what it is. I think that is so fucking cute. We'll just have it a couple, like, three. Okay, maybe seven. So anyway, let's get into it. Oh my god, I look a mess. I don't really like it. It's looking like this. What can I do? Powder? Okay, I swear, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start it. I'm so sorry. Let's just get into it. Uh, okay. I'm starting the haul. Okay. Forget my face. We're just gonna start up. My bags are showing. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. Everything is going so wrong. And crackhead like you. Okay, after this, I swear. I swear. Okay? Do you believe me? Do you believe me? You're probably saying no. Well, guess what? I'm gonna start. Okay. Let's start with something good, because y'all's gonna be like, I'm gonna turn him off. Okay. Let's get into it. Child, let me just start out with this. So, I've heard of this brand. I'm gonna go real fast, because I have a lot to get through, and I do not want this video to be too long. And I don't have a lot of space on my storage. <laughs> this is a... Can you guess it? Can you guess it? I... Didn't know about this brand until people told me, okay? Johnny was, as you can see, it's flip-flop or inverted because, um, yeah, it's inverted because I have the front face. Because I don't have the perfect camera situation up. I just want to get some content out to you, okay? Johnny was, these go for about a good 120 150 Baby, not only did I got one, but I got two. I actually like this one a little better just because it's purple and it just has a story like this is grass I can see and then flowers and then clouds. I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing something. This tag is so beautiful. This Johnny was label at the top, right at the nape of the neck. I, if I can find it, I'm really trying to show you. Look how beautiful engraved 3D print that is. This is gorgeous. So I got two of those. Quick three. Nothing. Nothing too bad. Baby, I got a Gucci. Yeah, this was on the floor. Okay. I want to say all of this, this whole haul would have been $50, okay? So I'm going to say 50 and I'm turning it into probably 5K. I don't know. You'll see a thumbnail. Something catchy. <laughs> this was on the floor and it's such great quality. I don't know about the bottom. The bottom is very suspect, especially with this coming out. But uh, even if it's fake, child, which I don't think it is because it has a serial number inside behind the label, as you can see. And then also, the whole bag is engraved with Gucci. All of the hardware is Gucci. And um, it just feels a good quality bag. Like, I've had this uh, monogram before in other pieces. Look how cute that is. Let me just stand up real quick. Uh -huh. Yes, throw me in. You mean my ID? It's cute, isn't it? Okay, next. You are going to gag. Girl. Hey, Yak. Um, oh my god. Is he wearing Balenciaga? Oh my god, he's so, like, 2022. No, bitch. This is not Marnie either. Not Balenciaga either. It's just, um, North... What is it? North something? North Country Knits. Baby, when I looked them up, their knits could be farther from this. This is cute as ever. It actually extends. Oh, wow. That's actually cuter how I just did that. But I pushed the top in because if if I push it all the way out, I cannot see. Like, I don't. I don't. You can't even see my nose. That's how much I can't see. So that's not cute. Like, who would want all this? Like, if I push it in a little is giving what it needs to give. And I'm obsessed with it. There's 100% wool. Can you believe the gradiency on that? I'm obsessed with that. Yeah, we out with the bangers, baby. I got a Lafayette 148 up in this joint. This is being resold. Well, actually, pre-tail is 189 They go up to $3,000. This is a knit tweed cardigan 
baby blue, giving grandma core, very much that. She's going to be resold for at least $189. i will be 90 I'll give a little discount. This was something that I maybe would have left. This is authentic clothing, cotton, 100% Lee. This is 1980, no, 1889. It's a medium size plaid. We have a blue and an orange. It's cute. I mean, I wouldn't wear it per se. This is my style. I think that it would resell quite nicely, but for what? I don't know. I have all these pieces that I didn't even put up online yet. Didn't even tell y'all about. And I have that to show for, I don't, I don't know. So we're going to go in and out of the good quality and then the, okay, cheap broke bitch quality. So I have a few scarves as well. Some I like to give to my customers when I sell things. So I'll show you those. And then I will also show you the ones that I'm keeping. So actually today what I'm wearing, this one actually is one that I'm keeping. I found it yesterday. It's supposed to be Hermes-esque, baby. It's not, it's not even silk, but... Um, it's acrylic, I think. I don't know. Some blend. This is one of them that I'm going to be giving away. Just just giving away. I actually think it's a really cute, cute design, but it's just cotton. It's not anything nice. I don't... I'm over it. I have 30 other scarves that are silk and, you know, brand name, so not worried about it. Here's another one that's actually cute. Again, cotton. Not worried about it. Going to give it away for free in a package because it's so lightweight and it's a cute gesture. This is one that is cotton, but I really love, first of all, it's not, I mean, it's cotton. Those are other like cotton blends. I think they're actually acrylic and poly even polyester or some, some type of fake shit. This is soft as ever. And as you can see, this is like, it even looks 3D in the knit. I mean, it's like a plaid if you go around. That's beautiful. I'm going to keep her. I wear scarves if you don't know. Here's another one, 100% silk. I love the layout. Looks like some roses are growing on a vine. This actually reminds me where grandma had some vines of roses on her porch. So beautiful. Why am I putting it in the to give away pile? Next, not that. Here's another to give away. Those two that I just showed you were to keep. This is a giveaway. It even says it right here. It's acetate twill, hand printed in Japan. But it just doesn't excite me, most likely because it's not brand name or cute. This is something my friend found me when we went. This is a little corset. Little piece. I like the, you know, the button-up corsets. I'm, I'm a little lazy sometimes. Gonna have to tie it around because that does not look cute like that. Here is another piece for me. A lot of them are to sell. I'll tell you what's selling and, you know, what was for me. This is an old navy tee, basic. I just love that granulated mix of knits. Very cute. I know y'all love, love the fashion and the high prices, so let's get back to it. Yeah, I found some trues per. Who would throw out trues? I don't, I don't know. Size 29. I cannot fit these. They have so much linen on them, but I could not leave them. These will sell a good 50, 60 easy. Next, we have, I think this is Brooks Brothers, but I could be wrong. No, this is Levi's Plantanea. I actually found a Brooks Brothers that looks just like this. I got it today. You'll see it. But this is Levi's. I could have left this. It's 100% wool. Could have left it. But I'll sell it, nevertheless. Probably sell it for a good 20 or 30. This is Big Bear Trading Company. Back. You're going to be gagged at the front. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. The bear is a 3D texture. Is velvet. I don't know if you can hear it. And then the other set of it is 100% acrylic, but it feels really nice. I would even say it feels cotton-esque. Uh, so, yeah, just the colors and the sizing is really beautiful. I'm obsessed with that. Here's something to sell. If it doesn't sell online, I'm just going to throw it to Play-Doh's. I have a Play-Doh's bag, and then I have an eBay, Poshmark, and Depop bag. So I'm not worried if it doesn't sell. This is a Streetwear Society denim bustier i would call it a top even it's in a size large or extra large extra large uh i think it's cute but it's fast fashion nevertheless okay done with the cheap stuff here we go girl ah! so child i found a florette peacoat let me try it on for y'all these retail for can you guess it 700 and 
something like that. Look at the good, actually it fits perfectly to me, but this is a Pico trench coat wool, 100% wool coat, 749. They are selling this brand new in Nordstrom, has a slit right there, it's beautiful. Beautifully made. Let me check the pocket, see if they. <gasps> the pocket is broke. Girl, bye. I'm gonna sell it a good three. Next, we have. Let me show you another cute piece. I'll give you a cute jacket. This is. What is this? Wallace and Barnes, extra large. Apparently, when I look this up, it is a J. Crew like brand. I don't really understand that. I guess J. Crew gives into it. 100% cotton on the uh, inside. This is nylon on the outside. This ranges from $300 to $400. So I'm pretty sure I can get at least a hundred out of it. It's such a, you know, a good brand. It's when I say it's in immaculate condition, that is such a good gift for someone. Then what is this hanging in? That is not what I picked up. Sorry, I just have everything in a bag and then I have a whole nother bag. Oh my goodness, so much stuff to show you. This, if it doesn't sell, I'm gonna keep it because I'm not worried about it. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren. I think it's cute because it has not only plaid, but it has a little tiny sliver of purple and then green as well and brown, green, brown, purple. Those are my favorite colors. Now it's a women's because it has this fringe, not fringe, but extra layering of ruching ruffle at the collar. I actually like it, I think it's cute. So I wouldn't be mad if I do have to keep it. Then, we have a Oscar de la Renta dress. I actually found this the other day, but it's in a haul, so you're gonna get what you get. Oscar de la, Oscar de la Renta pink label. This is a nightgown slip dress. I actually put this already up. I think I put it up there for $50 because comps were saying around 100 so that's cute. I actually picked this up and I didn't even mean to like keep it. Um, Cause as in, I'm in the bins, I'm digging, okay? This is a North Face large. What the fuck? My cat is pissing me off. Sorry. Just standing on shit and jump, jumping off. Like, I don't understand it. Anyway, this is a green knit. Well, I don't know if it's knit or whatever. But, child, it's a uh, North Face. And she's cute. She's. I won't say brand new because y'all be. Y'all be so mad at me. Someone returned something because I had some lint on it. Child, please. Anyway, lint roller next so next piece let me get into it child i found this little gray little great um it's getting old-fashioned but it's a j crew it doesn't fit me at all i don't understand how it's one size and then it doesn't fit me maybe it's supposed to be for kids but small oh they actually do they do size it okay that's a little weird 100 wool hat i thought that was so cute ah child I don't want to be reaching over there, so let me just show you what else I got. A little Walmart bag. Isn't she cute? I think I could just walk around with it. Oh my gosh, the girls will be gagging. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I'm a star. Where's my Walmart bag? No, I'm just kidding. I actually sell things inside of recyclable bags. So all I do is just put the little handlebars inside and then enclose it like that, tape it, fold it over, and then the bottom of whatever's in there is the article so then it's going to lay flat and then i have the opportunity to put a postage sticker on there i also work for the post office so i know these things will work and people do it every day so it's great to see that i'm recycling something that someone would have thrown away which they did they went to when it's a goodwill so this is a this is actually a brand thing it's like reselling for 35 bet mar new york this is so cute it's a little fur hat i'm pretty sure it's not real fur doesn't really show me what it is. Girl, the girls, the girls will give into it. I think that's so cute. It gives me what I need to have it give it to me. Then I have a Robert Graham shirt. These are selling literally like 125 brand new. Paisley white, baby blue, baby pink. Same design on the back such good quality i think it is cotton it feels cotton made in india don't see what else I, I don't feel like looking inside the tag sorry but it is such a beautiful piece sorry if i'm like going in and out i need to find the things to find sorry 
here is another piece that you are going to be gooped about. This is a Brooks, Brooks Brothers size 6, 70% wool, 30% cashmere. Slightly, slightly with a chance of cashmere. Uh, this is another pea coat. Nothing's wrong with it, just a little slight hole in the back. Whoop. That's why they donated it, that right there. If you can see it, no? Oh, that's why they donated it, because you can't see it, because they're rich, and if they have one little spectacle that you can judge them for, they said no. It's not so much of a trench, it's just a pea coat. Um, when I say these are going brand new for five, six hundred dollars, so I already know what I would be pricing it at. This is the first time that I'm trying out. I don't even know what this is, and none of this is listed. That's what's killing me. Madewell. Oh, well, this is this is listed. Some of these I just got, and some of them have been sitting here for a day or two because I really wanted to film and get some content for you guys. This is a Madewell. This is the first time I've actually tried a Madewell shirt, well, sweater. So that's great i have to dig into another bag because child like i'm just wasting time talking to you oh my goodness uh wow getting through so much this is a vince vince they had a dry clean uh i don't understand why they had a dry cleans when it's like missing is it missing a hole or what why did i say it was missing a hole it's not missing a hole what or like it's missing a butt. No, it's not missing a butt. This is Vince, baby. Vince goes for like six hundred dollars. One hundred percent cashmere cardigan. Why would a cheap, 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 cheap made in China cheap cardigan go for six hundred? I don't know, but the rich people think it's ill, and so do I. But someone's gonna gag over it. Then I, <laughs> that was so rude. Oh my god. Then I have a BB girl with a tag on it. I don't know even know how old this tag is. Macy's backstage, comparable at twenty five dollars. And then they reduced it to four ninety seven. Oh my goodness, y'all are what? This is so cute. I would, and it's ribbed on the side. Are you kidding me? What with tag? I have to, I have to get that four ninety seven now because I'm gonna get. Um, you bought it for four ninety seven. Actually, I bought it for like ninety seven cents. But anyway, then this is the <laughs> this is the Brooks Brothers Italian cashmere sweater that I was talking about. Okay, the only thing about this is that it has someone ran over it with a tire. Why would you do that? I asked this lady if I could get it out. She said she thinks so at the at the Goodwill. Today was probably the best. One of the best days. I'll show you some more. Girl, I got I got some stuff. This is a polo by Ralph Lauren, which is in cotton. This is in brand spanking new. Like, it's just so light. I couldn't pass off. I'm probably going to just price it at $20 to get it out. Then we have an Athletica, or is that, is it? Yeah, Athletica. This is the first time finding Athletica as well. First time for a few things. Oh, I also found my first free people today. Just found so many good things. Athletica tights, if they do not sell, I'm going to put them on my body. Um, These sell for $89 right now. I don't under understand it. Why would you throw it away? Where did you get it from? Someone gave it to you? You get it for Christmas? You know, like Christmas gifts? Well, I'm going to take it from you. This is an Athletica sweater. First time I'm finding that. These sell for $239 brand new. I don't understand why people are saying... When I say $239, I mean $239. Size small. It doesn't feel like a size small. So I was like, I'm eating my large. But, well, Athletica. And I was worried that this is all peeling. It's not. It's just the style. It's like polka dot sweater. Whatever. Girl, I will sell that for $60, $70 next. Then we have a... Girl, you're going to get... My fucking chair broke. Uh, the ghetto. Okay. Then I have a two of them actually. I have a diamond tea. No, not like the t-shirt, baby. Diamond tea, as in <laughs> she's drinking some goddessness. This is a nightgown dress. Now it has a zipper all the way down to down. Three hundred dollars. This is this is retail, okay? 300 brand new and I found two of them are you ready are you ready for the other one yeah yeah um what in the world is wrong with you this is the tag if you're ever interested I've never heard of this brand before extra small okay 
This is another one. You get out the shower, boom, diamond tea, baby. Ah, yes, she's rich. She's $300 robe. And she throws it away like it's nothing. So then we have me. Girl, I just came on with the good ish. Who is rich and is throwing all these away? Can you adopt me? White and warm. These are going for $325 all day. I don't understand it. How did I get five grand worth of things at Goodwill for fifty dollars? So, I'm grateful. Here's another rich bitch who doesn't want her free people. This is actually cute. This I would wear. No, no, no. Seriously, like I would, I would keep it. Look how tribal ass it it is. I just can't tell. I, I love my green. Um, free people goes for about eighty. I think. I don't know. This is my first time picking up free people. This is another scarf I found. Oh, it's the opposite way. I don't even know if that's a scarf or a handkerchief, but she's going to be given to someone because it's cute. I found another bag. It's five below. I just give them out, like I said. Here is a... Actually, I found this. I think this is so cute for me. So, I actually have a Burberry trench coat that I found in Goodwill the other day. Not the other day. The other year. Gap, as you can see. She's basic, but... She is just my size, just my style. So I want to wear my trench coat. Then I want to wear a skirt. And then it's going to be under. Is that too much plaid? I think it's too much plaid. Oh, well. Gap does resell, I guess, for like a couple dollars. You. Okay, main event. This is probably the most expensive item I have. Except for my Louis Vuitton that I found. This is a, I don't even know how you pronounce it. Fed Ellie? Okay, I guess it's easy. <laughs> Fed Ellie. 100% cashmere cardigan sweater. It's actually cute. I would wear it if it doesn't. I mean, it's going to sell. Well, maybe not at the price that I would list it for. Because this lists for $1,900. No, $1,095. Sorry. Got to add on myself. I'd probably list it for about $650. And I'm just being nice. Because there's no hole. No pilling. No stain no sizing about it that's wrong nothing's wrong with this i don't know why you would throw it out but thank you yeah and i never even heard of this brand but look it up baby blue cardigan zip 1095 dollars brand new then i got this cute i think it says luxury bedding um i don't know but i put out everything in there so if i ever move or if i need i'm a bag person i'm a bag lady i'm a bag man one second, I'm gonna get the stuff. Just be right there. Don't go. I'm just gonna get the stuff. Okay. So, oh shit, the fucking, fucking uh, chair fell again. <laughs> Ciao. I was I was so excited about the what was it? I don't even know. It wasn't the free people. Johnny was. Like, what? How do I get so many good brands? And here's another two or three of them. This is a Tory Birch, like on and on with the with the brands, right? This is such a cute blouse. I would even keep it for myself, but I'm just not a Tory, Tory Burch fan myself, but Tory Burch goes for several hundred dollars. I don't know about their blouses, so I could be mistaken on that part, but uh, I, I know someone who would like it, so I'll give it to someone who weighs 50 cents, so whatever. And if you're confused, confused, curious, confused, confused, um, all of these items are from the Goodwill Outlet. The Goodwill Outlet prices all their clothing in a big warehouse and in bins. They take it out consecutively each day at a certain time. And so they take everything out and bring in everything in. All the clothing is weighed per pound. So I got that at a discounted rate because, I don't know, these, these items are overflow. These items are things that the other Goodwills can't list. And so they just give it to the Goodwill Outlet. So here is something that I found that's not necessarily a brand. I didn't even look up the brand fresh, but I'm just going to give it to my friend or keep some documents in here. Very travel essence of just um, a good document receiver. So my friend would love that. And then here is the bag that you've been waiting for. Oh, actually, I have something in the bag. So let me take it out. You can get a little sneak peek. A little sneak peek. I have these pair of... What are they again? Jaco? I don't know. It's a Hispanic brand, but these are Jaco boots. They fit me perfectly. Oh my gosh, where did the bait hoodie go? 
Yeah, yeah, I found a bait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is that song? I don't know. Okay, here's the other one. I don't know why I'm showing the other one. Let me show you the bluey. Let me show you. No, let me get the bait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait you wait. Oh. I'm gonna make you wait. Girl! How did I get this lucky? I found a bait jacket. Baby, this is 3XL, but it's cute even on me. So I was thinking about wearing those boots. I mean, honestly, I don't I don't think I would have got the boots if I didn't have this. But don't you think like the boots would match? Is it just me? Girl, I think they would match. I think it's cute. Girl, and this will be the bag. Ah! Like, I'm I'm not kidding you. I found this out at Goodwill. You think I was kidding? You thought I was kidding you? <laughs> girl, you broke. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so, girl, I found a Louis Vuitton. Girl, my man already tried to steal this up from me and said, girl, you can borrow it. So, this is a traveling case, I'm guessing, for, like, a messenger bag. You can even make it. No, I was going to say you make it, but it doesn't have that hoop on the side. I was going to say you can make it into a travel bag, but I'm not even worried about that because you can fit it into a duffel. So, I'm going to try to put some clothes in there and make it look like a duffel. So that way, I mean, I want to experiment. I want to take it on the plane. Mm -hmm. Girl, ah! I mean, it's okay. It doesn't look how I wanted it to look. I think I would have to fit more things in there to make it look how I wanted it to look. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. I don't know. I w it's very editorial for me. <sighs> oh, well. Then, baby. Baby, it doesn't stop there. I found this sax. Fifth Avenue. I can't even find comps anywhere. I can't find this anywhere. 100% cashmere. Cardigan. Yeah, you, you guessed it right. It's rabbit fur on the collar. It's rabbit fur on the collar, baby. Can't believe I found that. And last but not least, I'm going to go get the other article of clothing. Stay right there, girl. Stay right there. I know you want to. Okay. I found this. And let me get you another piece. Let's go with this one. Ascada. Girl, they, they, they just keep going and going and going. I just can't stop. Sorry. I don't know. We've been 32 minutes. Oh, my boy. Good thing it's one run because I do not feel like editing this. I need to go to bed, go to work. The, once I find the top of it, I will show you it. Um, This is an Escada dress, nude. As you can see, it has some, I would say oval polka dots. So is it oval dots? Polka ovals. <laughs> Polka ovals. Um, this is an Escada dress. I think it's really cute. Escada ranges from 200 to 2,000. I mean, it just depends on the piece that you have, honestly. This I might give away and I might sell. I don't know. I think if someone buys the Marnie S cat, uh, the Northern American wool, whatever, I would give them this. Isn't this so cute? Oh, it would go with this. No, it wouldn't. I don't know. I think it's cute. Um, it's 100% wool. And I think it's cute. Then we have another scarf to give someone. Broke people. Ew. And then we have. Last but not least, it is another free people. Oh, I have some other things I want to show you. But this is another free piece. Free people piece. Um, I can I can tell by the metal. It says free people right here. And this is made in China. Extra small. Again, I don't understand the extra small. This is like an extra large. I don't under, is it made for big people? I don't want to offend anyone, but it's not an extra small. Okay, and then I found, actually I found this necklace. Let me see if it's cute, because I just found it. Is it even a necklace? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a necklace. I'll probably give it to someone because it's kind of like cheap. Ew. I don't like cheap things. And then I found all these brooches. Oh, and this pendant. Okay, this pendant's cute, but it's like getting green at the back. So again, ew, cheap. I found all these brooches. Or is it a hair clip? It might be a hair clip. I said it's a brooch, I'm screaming. Yeah, all these hair clips. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Okay, that one's cute. But I think I'm gonna give them, you know, with the feminine items or the androgynous items, cause you know, I'm an androgynous hole myself. Darling, I'll show you one more piece. I'll give you one more piece. This is a little bit old, but I haven't just show, showcased it on my platform yet. This is a Kuji, Kuji shirt, size 4X. This is the back. 
this is the front this is the back and this is the front oh no this is the front and this is the back this is Barchland. go look her up on instagram but uh she's cute i would even wear her if i had the correct bottom wear because i'm not just going to put that on my body is just not going to be cute. Um, it's going to be oversized and baggy. And I don't have anything to match it with. But anyway, that was my little piece. I'm looking around to see if I have anything else. I don't think so. My room's a mess. This is the only thing organized. And you probably think that's a mess. So, oh well. These are the pieces. A lot of them, like this, 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 this. I have a lot on my uh, eBay. So if you're interested in anything here, interested in anything on here, feel free to go on my eBay. It should all be listed by the time I post this. I don't want to post this. And if someone's interested in it, obviously I'm giving a discount. I give discounts, okay? I am aware of where I get these clothes. You don't have to tell me, oh my gosh, she's telling me. I understand it. But also understand this. I take time of my full-time job, take time out of that to go and venture out on these clothing. So I did work, okay? I stand out in a bit of cold and I look up all these and I post them from the comfort of my home. So if you have a problem with it, just don't buy them. Don't don't hate uh, hate on the company. I don't know, hate on the consumer. Do what you gotta do. I'm not hating on the consumer. I'm just gonna underprice other people who are sending to the consumer and the consumer is buying it for a higher price. Say for the free people, uh, people are selling for $80, $90. I'm saying that's how much I would do, but honestly and realistically, I would accept offers and I would just go low, 50, 60, even $40 because I'm not too experienced with the brand. Something that I am experienced with, like a brand that I know, like uh, Ralph Lauren Polo, I'm not going to let for less than $15 um, because I find more value into it than just that amount. All of those luxury brands, I've never seen them before. And I even said it to you now. So if you have a problem with it, sorry, babes, but it's just not your time to shine. And um, next politely next no i'm just kidding but i'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it did you enjoy it? i don't know let me know in the comments subscribe if you're not subscribed thank you so much if you are and if you stayed a loyal customer for like nine ten years i'm gonna go get some sleep so i hope to see you guys in the next video hopefully it's gonna be a what sold i'm gonna show you how much in each item sold and the pictures of them and where i got them from and how much i paid all that good stuff and then one day I'm going to take you to the vans, and then another day I'm going to do my makeup, and New Year's is coming around the corner, so. Let me go check on my cats. Bye, guys. <laughs>